Death is a controversial topic in the comic community. Logically speaking, when you kill off a character, they should stay dead. But that's not quite the case when it comes to comics, primarily due to something that happened in 1992, but we will touch on that later. How's it going guys? My name is Kelly Pally and I'm here with Top 10 Nerd, and today we're going to jump right into our list of top 10 superheroes that can't die. Get ready to argue in the comments, because all of them can technically die except one. But that's fine. It's really hard to kill them. At number 10, we've got Deadpool. So yes, Deadpool can die, but it's really, really hard for him to die, you guys. He's got an accelerated healing ability that makes it real easy for him to get away with all the outrageous stunts he pulls. He can regenerate and destroy tissue, which makes him immune to diseases too, and makes him capable of surviving decapitation and incineration. But on the downside, because of his general immunity to cell damage, it's really hard for him to get drunk. You win some, you lose some. And at number 9, we've got Deathstroke. Here's someone else who evades death continuously due to extreme regenerative healing powers. It also helps that this expert marksman can use 90% of his brain capacity, making him hella intelligent and therefore harder to wound. Deathstroke was actually first introduced as Deathstroke the Terminator in 1980. What a fitting name. And at number 8 is Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer has been referred to by one of his creators Jack Kirby as a fallen angel, or rather Galactus's fallen angel, as he surfs the cosmos looking for planets for Galactus to consume. Silver Surfer is a humanoid with metallic skin who can travel through space, so he's not vulnerable to a lot of the different things that more of our mortal heroes have to endure. He's endowed with the power cosmic by Galactus, and in case you don't know what that is, it's a cosmic energy that allows Galactus to create any effect he desires, including the creation of life and the ability to resurrect. Fun fact, the Silver Surfer rides around on a surfboard because Kirby was too tired of drawing spaceships. The more you know. And at number 7 is Martian Manhunter. So here's another case of regenerative healing powers. Seems quite common, doesn't it? Whatever happened to characters who can't regenerate their bodies? Right. What else does our green friend have in his real house of abilities? Intangibility, invisibility, and invulnerability. Cause you know, you gotta stack up those abilities. At 6 we've got the Immortal. Who is someone who's super hard to kill? Well, someone who literally goes by the alias Immortal kinda sounds fitting. So this character is obviously Immortal, duh. But what is also entertaining is that he's actually been alive for a really long time. And he's actually served as the president under the name Abraham Lincoln. Oh and he was also decapitated by Omni-Man once, but also survived that. And then Omni-Man tried to kill him again by impaling him and ripping him in half, which the immortal survived again. So you can see why it's a fitting name. And you guessed it, like almost everyone else on this list, he's got regenerative healing powers. But due to his immortality, he went insane and started committing crimes as a cry for help for someone to try to kill him. So guess immortality isn't everything. And now we've got a man with another conveniently titled alias, Resurrection Man. So Resurrection Man can die, technically speaking, but he's capable of reviving himself within a short duration after his death, even when he's been cremated. And he also returns to life with a new power, or gift, as he refers to it, and this gift always has something that correlates with his death. Some of these include his skin color changing, x-ray vision, and even cosmic manipulation. At least life is never boring for him. And it gives him the potential to come back with some incredibly powerful abilities. Fun fact, his power comes from something called tectites that permeates in his body. Up next at number 4 we've got Jean Grey. So this one's a bit of a joke. Jean Grey kinda has a weird history with death. She has a tendency to die lots and then be brought back. And while I know this list is superheroes who can't die, there's something to be said for dying multiple times and constantly being brought back. Well, death is almost laughable in the comic universe at this point, one count puts Jean Grey at a total of 14 deaths, which is a lot, all things considered. People actually refer to her as the deceased sometimes. Let's take a look at some of the ways she died. She's been erased from existence by Thanos, murdered a handful of times, submerged herself into a glacier, stabbed a bunch of times by Wolverine, oh, and committed suicide on the moon. Yeah, fun stuff. Up next at number 3, we've got the personification of death. Death. In the Marvel Universe, Death appears as a character in multiple titles, encountering the likes of Deadpool, Captain Marvel, and Ghost Rider, to name a few. He's sometimes depicted as a skeleton, other times wearing a robe, sometimes in black, sometimes in purple, cause you know, you, you gotta switch it up every now and then. And he's appeared as a human female too. Regardless of his appearance, Death can't die because he's literally death, which is why he's our number 3. Up next at number 2 we have got Dr. Manhattan. Dr. Manhattan's creation started with the death of John Osterman. After accidentally being trapped inside a chamber where he and fellow scientists were conducting 
conducting nuclear physics experiments concerning intrinsic fields of physical objects, John Osterman died. But over time, he slowly reassembled himself into Dr. Manhattan. Dr. Manhattan is practically invincible, and he's immortal, and he lives in the past, present, and the future simultaneously. Even when there's an attempt on his life, one that's actually well thought out and scientifically substantial, he still doesn't die. And finally, our last number on this list is Superman. Superman makes this list a number one for a very specific reason. In 1992, there was a storyline that consisted over three arcs that is widely known as the death of Superman. Superman battles Doomsday, and by the end of the battle, both die after an outrageous punching contest. The world lost its then there was this whole reign of Superman storyline, which introduced a bunch of random Superman imposters, and then there was a war and a bunch of other intricate silly details that all lead up to Superman being resurrected. Or rather, he was in a weird sleep hibernation that is identical to human death and appearance. Good one, DC. Because of this, he is single handedly responsible for making death inconsequential in comics. Ever since his resurrection, bringing back dead characters has been a much easier feat, ultimately, making death reversible, which makes stories less interesting. Which which downgrades the credibility of the comic book industry. Yeah. So that was a bit of a difficult one to compile, mainly because a good chunk of these heroes are more so cheating death than actually capable of never dying. But if there's anyone I missed, make sure you let us know in those comments below. For now, I'm Kelly Pally with Top 10 Nerd, and I will catch you guys in the next one.